Hi, welcome back to Steve Shed. Uh, sorry I've been away. I've uh, had a little bit of man flu. Don't worry, I've got over it. Pull through, people. Pull through. Right, busy day today. Uh, I was meant to be in the garage last weekend, like I said, but I just didn't get around to doing it in the end. Wasn't up for it. So uh, I'm going to walk you through what I'm hoping to get done today, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Right then, so this is one of today's jobs. I've got to put the handbrake cables on the Cortina so I can get it off the axle stands and put it back on the ground. Just so everything's, you know, just at a better level playing field for me working on it. So we'll see how we get on with that. So that's the first job. And then I'll bring it over here, mind the rubbish. Right, next job. This is my wonderful 55mm Cool X fan. Or should I say radiator? And at the moment that is just flapping about in the wind. So what I've done is I have gone and bought some flat bar, just two mil flat, uh, two mil by twenty five mil uh, mild mild steel bar, and I'm going to make some straps that come off of here somewhere each side because I'm going to move these. There's two of them. Let's box out way down to see. There's two of them, and uh, make some straps. Weld these in place and then hopefully get the radiator in place. And then what I'm going to do from there, I know, very ambitious. At the moment, I've got no inner wings on the car. And I won't be running inner wings on this car. But when I put all the front end together, it's very heavy and it all droops down. And you can see it's bowing there. If I pull that straight. So what I need to do is make some sort of body posts that come from here under here or maybe from here out to here that I can then add the slam panel to and then riven up the whole lot together so I can still take it on and off but just so as it's supported at the front end because yeah that ain't good that ain't good so let's see how we get on handbrake cables first right then so underneath the car you can see that I've got this handbrake cable in already, I've got the brake lines in, I've got the flexi cable for the axle in and everything else pretty much tidy under it. Just remember when I'm putting all this together at the moment I'm just doing a dry build so anything that looks a bit rusty or anything that needs painting it will get painted and it will get all treated nicely but for now I just want to get the car running and driving and uh, just make sure everything works and uh, from there I can crack on so uh, yeah let's see if we can put this together right then so I think that's together how it should be I'll have to double check on that spring because I'm not 100% sure yeah, get the light. Okay, yeah I'm not 100% sure on that spring but everything else I think is where it should be now the next stage is to get that cable Hooked up to the handbrake, which goes underneath up there a bit further, as we all know. So, uh, yeah, let's get that done. All right, then. So, as usual, I've lost all the bolts for everything that I need. So, these two holes here are obviously Imperial. They're like a UNC in old money. So, I uh, can't remember what that is. It's like UN course. Uh, I can't remember what it's actually called. So, what I'm going to do is I've got my trusty tap set here. So, what I'm going to do is drill these holes out to a 7mm and then use an 8mm by 1.25 tap and we'll put these bolts in instead because I've got plenty of these and uh, the more metric the merrier as far as I'm concerned so uh, let's see how we get on with this right so that's done now I've tapped them out let's see if we can get a nice picture of some clean threads here there we go so these are an M8 boy 1.25 bolt perfect bit too long for now but it'll be fine so let's put the other handbrake in like I said this is all disgusting stuff for a moment let's see if we can do this with one hand get it started get it started can we Right, okay, bear with me two seconds. Let's see if we can get this started and come back. Right, okay, so let's get these in. Right. 
So that's that. I won't bother putting this uh, cover down for a minute just because I'm going to see if I can find a better one or clean it up for now. But that'll do for a second. That's the first time this car's had this on for, oh, I don't know, six years maybe. So uh, yeah. Hashtag race car. Now, I've had quite a few people ask me, why am I doing a dry build? Why don't you just put the car together? All right, simple answer is you encounter stuff like this. Now, that is the handbrake cape, or handbrake lever absolutely smashing into the resonator there. And uh, if I can show you, you'll be able to see the score marks of where I was thinking, what is going on here? So, I'm going to have to... Have a little look and see how much I'll do that now, how much cable we've got left over. Okay, well, let, me this, let me put you down here for a second. So I figure this out. With me. Well, let's put you there. Right, sorry for the bad lighting. So I can cut that make another hole about an inch higher, about half inch higher I reckon and we'll go from there and see what happens right then, so there we go, finished article mint let's put that in the car and see how we end up right, so I have checked and now I've got plenty of clearance and that should swing past there, absolutely lovely. If not, I'll just take a little bit more off, we'll just give it a little kink, and uh, we'll go from there. So if I just move you back a little bit. Like I said, I've still got to dress the welds on the exhaust and stuff, so then hold that against me. <laughs> right, so now I should be able to get this on here, just about. If I don't drop everything, like I said, I'm going to grind all the welds down on the exhaust and I'll be uh, giving it a coat of uh, high temperature paint as well to give it a bit of protection. We'll see what happens from there. Everything that'd be really handy. Oh, yeah. and there we go, look. So that is handbrake cable all in. So we'll just try it in a second and uh, see if we can get anything to happen. I'll probably have to strip the brakes out again because I want to put them together the first time, the drums that is. I'll just sort of throw them together. But we'll see what happens. All right then, so there's not very much slack in this now. So I've adjusted it, well, to where I think it should be anyway. If we go underneath, well, go under the car, well, go into the car now, should I say. Try the handbrake and we'll see what happens. So let's have a quick look. Excuse a mess in the garage. You know it is, all right. So, if we give this a little tug. There's <clears throat> still too many. Okay, so let's go and adjust that some more, and then we'll try it again. All right, so I've adjusted it again, and it feels nice and solid now. 
and I can't move the wheel now either. So uh, yeah, I'll call that a good one. Get it back off these axle stands, back on the ground, and I shall meet you at the front in a minute. Right then, so I've let the sun shine in. Have a look at this. Oh, menacing, menacing, love it. Right, so first things first, I'm going to move these out the way so they're the same width as the radiator because. Let's face it, you don't want anything blocking any sort of airflow if you can get away with it. So uh, there's a couple of spot welds. One down the bottom here somewhere. And another one at the top. Oh, there we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? I oh, believe me, it's there. I've got to cut them out. Oh, there's another one down there, look. Cut that out. Put them, reposition them, weld them in, and then we can start making the uh, standoffs for the radiator support. So what you can see there is I've just blobbed this in in roughly the right place and now what I'm going to do is measure up and bend the flat bar that I bought earlier and uh, hopefully make some standoffs for the radiator support alright then people so it's going to happen sooner or later but it's now time for a little bit of CAD as we all know cardboard aided design so we've got some nice cardboard here Cut a couple of strips, the width doesn't matter, it's just the uh, angles of the bends that I want for now. And where exactly I need to bend my flat bar. So. Right then. There's two. Oops, big thick one. Make another one. Although that'll probably do it for now. Right, so if I spin you round. Right there. So I want a strap that goes from here to here, and then another one that goes from here and then kicks down onto here. And get this at the right sort of height, which is about there. About there. Just above the top of the engine. That'll do lovely. Hold that in place. Go and get my jack. That'll probably be the best idea. Bear with me two seconds. I'll take this out, mate. As you can probably tell, most of the car's fiberglass. Just go and get the bonnet. 
See if we can line this up, make sure we get it in the right place, or roughly. Okay, right, so I'll bring you over out. Oh, right. So we can see that it clears the bonnet there now. So make these straps. I'll show you what I've come up with in a second and we go from there. Right, so here we go then. So that's the let's see if we can get a better video. That's the top mount and the bottom mount. And now what I'm going to do is basically keeping it nice and simple. I'm just going to make it out of that 2mm by 25mm mould steel. And uh, rive nut it all together. And then it will all be removable for when I need it to be. We like simple. Right then, so here we go. This is what we've got so far. That bottom one there, that top one there, and then the same on this side. When I come to weld this top one, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it in and then see if I can just hammer the sides round, just so as it curls around this pipe, just so as it looks a little better. Or I might even end up cutting a little bit off it maybe, I'm not too sure yet. But, all things considered, that... It's not going anywhere once so I've welded that in. So like I say, I'm going to drill some holes in this side here and here just so I can put riv nuts in there and that way the radiator will be able to come in and out whenever I need it to. So uh, we'll just drill some holes now and see how we get on. Right then, so what I've done here is I've drilled it out to 11mm, put these riv nuts in and what I'm going to do is for now put the uh, M8 bolts through them, see where they line up and then go from there. Right then, so here we go for now. That's all bolted in using the rivnuts. I've got it in place. Quite happy with how it's sitting but I can do the final adjustment when I come to weld it in. Yeah, it's just slightly off there so I need to lower this side down a little. But apart from that, I'm happy with how that's turned out. Right, well that's it for this week of uh, Steve Shed. So uh, yeah, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, look out for the notifications on the next one. Thanks very much.